www.optionsstrategy.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a brief look at the markets for today, Friday, November 29th, the last day of the month. It's Black Friday in the United States. We're not expecting to see all that much volatility today. Uh, we'll start with a look at the economic calendar, and it doesn't show up here, but at 9 o'clock GMT, we have uh, unemployment data in Italy. It's probably not a major uh, event, but it's something that some investors might keep an eye on. Then at 9.30 GMT, we have a mortgage approvals from the United Kingdom. Again, this is probably not all that going to have much of an impact on, on the markets. The major event of the day is at 10 o'clock GMT when we have inflation data coming out from the Eurozone. Um, the last time this happened, this was last month, inflation data came out less than ex uh, came out worse than ex sorry, it came out less than expected and it caused an about face for the euro and it influenced ECB policy in the next meeting. So investors are going to be taking a very close look at, at this event today. Then for traders in Canada trading uh, the Canadian dollar and Canadian stocks, we have GDP data coming out from Canada at 1.30 GMT. Moving over to the markets, we'll start with the S&P 500. Well, the S&P 500 was of course closed yesterday, so there wasn't any move. Uh, going into the session today, we have Asian stocks are mixed, pretty much neutral. And uh, S&P 500 futures are trading up by 0.2%. So we could have some slightly positive outlook for the market today. The euro, uh, the euro yesterday uh, rose slightly. Um, it's currently trading up between uh, the uh, sorry, it's trading above the uh, 50 retracement level, which is kind of, kind of significant. Our next support is at 36.50, and we have uh, sorry, our next resistance at, is at 36.50, and we have uh, support at 35.50. However, uh, the the data coming out today could have uh, an important impact on this pair, and we can see a strong move here. Uh, the pound has moved again above. Uh, the, the top of this channel that it's established, so we can see that it, it's most likely starting a new trend. It's currently trading just below its next resistance level at 164. And then we can uh, we have uh, support back here at the top of the channel at 162.50. There's no major data coming out from, uh, from the United Kingdom today, so we probably won't have a strong move uh, in, in the pound today. Um, the Japanese yen continued its rise despite being significantly over so uh, overbought. It's currently trading at or just three points below um, resistance at one one hundred two thirty. If it were to break through that, we have our next resistance at the yearly high at one hundred three thirty, and then we still have support here at one hundred one thirty. Gold also continues to track lower. It's virtually unchanged because yesterday the U.S. markets were closed. We're still on target for 100. Oh, I mean 1,220 in the short term. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy trading.